हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम आयुष शेरकर वॉलेंटियर ऑफ अप्लाइड फॉरेंसिक रिसोर्स साइंसेस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू मेडिकल जूरिस प्रोडेंस कंटेंट वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट आर इंट्रोडक्शन हिस्ट्री टर्मिनोलॉजीज इंक्लूड स्कोप एंड नीड इट्स फॉरेंसिक अप्लीकेशन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन द टर्म मेडिकल जूरिस प्रोडेंस इज द ब्रांच ऑफ साइंस एंड मेडिसिन In relation with the application of medical knowledge and the legal system, in simple format, if we see the term medical jurisprudence is a medical means related to medicine, and the jurisprudence means the knowledge of law. In simple terms, the medical jurisprudence is also called as medico legal. The medico legal is a term which incorporates the basics of two profession, that is, medicine and the law. as the modern medicine is a legal creation of system which is regulated by the state the medico legal cases involving such as death rape paternity etc which requires a medical practitioner to produce evidences and appear as an expert witness during the trial or the court proceedings so these two fields have the traditionally been interdependent now we'll see about the history of medical jurisprudence that how it introduced in the system firstly Song Shi was probably the first forensic scientist. He was a Chinese physician, judge, anthropologist and a forensic medical scientist. He was the first known anthropologist who wrote a groundbreaking book which entitled as Collected Cases of Injustice Rectified. The next is Paul Jasias was also one of the earliest figures of medical jurisprudence in association with the papal state and the Catholic Church. He was an Italian physician teacher of medical science and forensic medicine also a medico legal jurist and his most well known book that is question is medico legalis established the legal medicine as a topic of study in forensic science let us see about the terminologies which are used in the medico legal aspects firstly it is a profession of both legal and medical systems and then knowledge Next is it is a system for the purpose of conveying meaning specific to interrelationships of medical and the law some of the terms used in the medical legal aspect such as abandonment that is the action or fact relating any activity with medical and the legal system assault which means the unlawful bodily harm without his or her consent battery is the harmful or offensive touching of another person breach means the injury which is reasonably connected to the action of physician due caution which means the reasonable care due diligence investigation to confirm facts of matter under the consideration due process which means the standard application of prevailing law and the protection duly which means the proper procedure to be followed liable the published false statement which damages the person's reputation next the litigation which means the process of taking legal actions it also include the simple terms such as certification civil laws criminal law culpable defendant doctor lawyer judge duly duty physician and licensure and the proximal cause and etc let us move towards the scope and need of the medical jurisprudence The main scope of medical jurisprudence is to associate and help the crime and criminal investigation and jury to ascertain the mystery of unnatural death and other criminal offenses such as murder, rape, hanging, accidents, etc. Medical jurisprudence is concerned with a broad range of medical, legal and the ethical issues as well as human rights and the rights of individual. The term medical jurisprudence plays a very important role in justice of human finding exact cause of death of deceased person by means of an autopsy that is a post mortem and different types of medical legal surgical examination etc the forensic applications of the medical jurisprudence are forensically it deals with the application of scientific medical knowledge to the administration of law to the furthering of justice and to the legal relations of the medical practitioner forensically it also addresses the physiology of dying the cause and the time of death and post death phenomena the key goal is to provide objective evidences of cause timing and manner of death for adjudication by the criminal justice system with the end of this topic let us see that how much you have understood with this question the question is medical jurisprudence properly embraces all questions which affect the civil or social rights of individual 
and injuries to the person and bring the medical practitioner into contact with dash the options are patient court hospital and law so drop your correct answer in the comment section below as you all know in our previous uploaded video the topic was forensic entomology and the question was what method of forensic entomology is used to determine time since death when the corpus has been dead from one month to a year or more the correct answer is b maggot age and development the correct answer of this question is given in the description below thanks for watching the video if you have any queries please drop your comment in the comment section below we will definitely clarify your doubts please do like share and subscribe our channel for more updates thank you